Hi, it's Wendy from Tai Chi The Way of Life again. Um, so I'm doing a little series of uh, videos about how to root basically and um, and how Tai Chi isn't just a physical training system um, and um, it's actually it's a lot to do with expanding your brain and how you where you put your um, see you guys how you where you're going to put your emphasis on and definitely not in the arm so we're going to talk about that today right so as usual you know it you need to root and how do you root you're sitting back and when you're sitting back the arms comes forward as a counterbalance a little bit slopey right so i need to sit back because that's my stance and my arms comes forward as a counterbalance and today we were talking about how the, the elbows should be so I could hold my arm and it's stuck in my shoulder but I really need to be re resting my arms and very often you will hear Tai Chi teachers saying as if your elbows are resting on your knees but your knees are right here so if I'm resting on them like this so you need to really imagine that you've got much bigger knees and they're going forward away from you because you are sitting back so it makes no sense if I'm like this then I've got no balance <clears throat> so that's why I need to be sitting back my knees is further forward that's why my elbows are also further forward right and then of course we could just move around like this but that doesn't look really very much like Qigong or Tai Chi um, because there's no rotation. Why? Because I haven't really, I deliberately, my hips are slightly open, but I haven't actually relaxed it. So I don't know whether you can tell that my hip actually goes that way also. What has that got to do with my elbows? Right, let's, let's go into that now. So if I'm going to, so I can't really do much with my arms just like, like that, but if I now start to drop my elbow and relax my hip I could change direction I could also redirect force uh, incoming force make contact I redirect it by relaxing my hip so I don't it's very different if I move with my arm and hope for the best because now I'm um, actually really this this one it's got nothing I think I probably trying to move so and that person is going to move me instead so I need to be making sure that my elbows are resting on my knees my knees are actually quite far forward so my elbows resting on that knee my elbows resting on this knee so it's not back here so that's no good now I'm more exposed and then, so what do I do when I want to go back the other way? So classic mistake is you want to just, I move my arms, I wasn't, and now my elbows are here, my knees are still facing that way. So I'm no longer resting on my elbows or my knees. So what am I gonna do? So I'm going to, so this is where my weight is. This is my empty leg. I'm going to have to make sure this leg root down and I'm going to relax this hip. Now I've changed direction and my elbows, they're going the same. Elbows that way, knee that way, knee that way, elbow that way. Right, I hope that was helpful for you. I know my student, some of my students at least find these video quite helpful. Um, so do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is Wendy Chan from Tai Chi The Way of Life. Thank you for watching. Bye bye until next time.